This week's 48 Hours takes us inside the search for Jermaine Charlo. She's a Montana mother who disappeared without a trace back in 2018. Investigators have now released never-before-seen video of Charlo exclusively to 48 Hours. Now, they are the last known images of her before she vanished. Michelle Miller gives us an early look at the 48 Hours investigation. On Highway 93 in Montana, it's hard to miss Jermaine Charlo's haunting gaze. She disappeared without a trace. Nothing. For Danny Matt and Valinda Morijo, the ordeal began in June 2018 when they couldn't reach their niece, Jermaine. Unusual, they say, for the 23-year-old who was never far from her phone. So I kept calling her, calling her. More than six years later, with no sign of Jermaine, Police released this surveillance video to 48 hours with the hope of generating leads. There's Jermaine outside the Badlander Bar in downtown Missoula on Friday, June 15, 2018. Police say the man next to her is Michael DeFrance, Jermaine's ex and the father of her two children. You believe Michael DeFrance was the last person to see Jermaine Charlo? That's what the investigation has determined. Detective Guy Baker says DeFrance told police he dropped Jermaine off at a market in Missoula around 1 a.m. DeFrance said he did this because Jermaine told him a friend lived nearby and Jermaine was going to spend the night there. But hours later, Baker says Jermaine's phone was active on Evero Hill, miles away. And it was active multiple times, uh, primarily between the hours of 2 a.m. up until just about 10 a.m. Michael DeFrance lived on Evero Hill. DeFrance told investigators Jermaine left her phone in his car and he later discarded it. Searches in the area did not find Jermaine. DeFrance has not been named as a suspect. Jermaine's case is part of a nationwide epidemic of missing and murdered indigenous women. Jen Murphy is an educator and photographer. That red hand, you can't not see. It shouts out, we're not gonna take this anymore. With a billboard campaign and the release of this surveillance video, the hope is someone knows something that will bring Jermaine home. Come forward. We know you're there. Be brave. And Michelle Miller joins us now at the table. The question to me right away, this happened in 2018. Why are they now releasing the tape in 2024? I realized we had COVID, but that was 2020. Yeah, no, that's a good question. We asked that, but uh, I guess their, their central theme is they want to solve the case now. And they feel as though this video, which shows her uh, walking with that her, her ex, um, being the thing that might crack the case wide open. Uh, they feel someone has seen something and that perhaps this nationwide audience might be an opportunity for them to step forward. What's the significance of the, of the red hands we, we see on people's faces? Well, you've seen it a lot. You, you saw it at the Emmys uh, with, with, when, with an actor. You're seeing it more and more uh, because people feel as though uh, this is a situation where Native and Indigenous people go voiceless. Uh, they, in the state of uh, Montana, they are 6% of the population, but 24% of the active missing persons. Wow. Wow. So when you look at that, you, you sit back and say, we're, where is the attention uh, to this community and, and in reference to other communities where we follow the cases of, of missing people much greater? Well, we're so glad you're bringing that extra attention, Michelle. Thank you so much. And you can watch Michelle's report, Where is Jermaine Charlo, on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.